everyone and welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be doing our weekly budget. I know I'm a little late, but I'm, one, I'm just a day late. Um, I try to do it on Mondays. I may move it to Sundays um, going forward um, because that's when I really have the time to kind of like do my budget. So anyway, here was last week. I went ahead and did it on my own. We ended up making, I think, oh God, oh, it was six fifty. Okay, nails, nothing. Norris Cove, I got a little cheat sheet here. Norris Cove made $89.42 last week. Now, no, yeah. Y'all know what? No. Okay, here's the thing. The money, I made $89.42, but most of it, I only got a portion of that. So I'm going to put that at 40 because this week, we're getting another deposit. That makes sense. Uh, miscellaneous, I have $100 down. And that is for, I can't remember what it was. I think I took money from somewhere or whatever. But let's just do the math here. So we have basically a $690 plus that be $790. $790 is what we end up making. I Oh, I took $100 off a credit card. I know, not great, but I'm just keeping it real. I'm just out here trying to survive. Okay, the Cardinal got paid. Chase got paid. Uplift, $38.57 got paid. So here I have Capital One. Capital One actually came out this week. Citibank came out, will come out this week. And I gave them $37. Um, HP came out, and then I got my booth rent paid, okay? So we're just going to hop in. I didn't even kind of like pre-do it, but let's kind of pre-do it here. So I'm just going to use this marker. I got my cheat sheet over here from my A6. Y'all, it is a struggle. Actually, today I have a job interview for waxing. I've got to just find a way to make some money. So um, hopefully I can do it part time. So I'll see on the interview what it is that I can actually do, what my schedule will be. And I'm pretty sure I can work my hair schedule and nail schedule around that. Um, we'll just see. Once I get there, we'll see. And even if they give me the job. Okay, so first we have hair. I'm projecting, uh, it's been a little tight. But I'm projecting 650 again. I would love to go back to my 800s and 700s, but it is what it is. Um, I have nails to do today, but this is like a one of my like uh, not necessarily a test, but um, basically offered a tour for free to like for exposure. So I'm gonna put zero, but I always say you know you can tip if you like. Um, next up, we have Norris Cove. So we know Norris Cove this week. Um, I know I transferred about 40, let's say 68, $68 for Norris Cove. Um, that went to paying bills and then miscellaneous. I don't think I have anything that I know of. I'll just put zero for now. And the total is $718. Let me double check. I'm trying to math in my head. I always like to brag that I can count money in my head. Yep, 718. Okay. Now, let's get to the nitty gritty. I'm going to slide in my little cheat sheet here from my A6. So, like I was saying, Capital One, I paid last week, but it came out this week. So, that was due on the 1st. Um, that was 40 and that got paid. Um, I guess... I put gas in here because I bought gas on Saturday, I think, and it came out yesterday or last night, and it was $55. And so normally I wouldn't include over here in bills, but because it's coming out of this money here, I had to include it. Um, if you don't understand what I'm saying, just let me know, and I'll try to break it down for you. Normally it's over here in like cash envelopes or something like that, but being that I don't have the money for cash envelopes right now, it just came out of my regular money. Um, Citibank. Um, hopefully that comes out. I made a mistake with the Citibank. And let me tell y'all what I did. My Citibank is normally doing the 17th. 
I like to try to prepay my bills sometimes. So I'll go in, so like on Saturday, which was the 16th, I paid Citibank and Barclays, but I normally put in the date that they're due, which is the 17th and the 18th. Well, I forgot to do that with Citibank and I put it down basically for the 16th. So I hope it didn't come through last night and then got sent back because I wasn't ready. But anyway, it's there. And then we have um, Barclays. So Barclays was due yesterday. So they'll probably come out like the 21st. And to get under, because the what's the word I'm looking for? The interest went over my amount by 700 something dollars, y'all, about maybe. It hasn't even been a year. I finally got that knocked down back to the original amount. So I'm, I paid that off to $80.11. So now my limit is $2,000. So I'm now back down to $2,000. Hopefully, if I get this job, first thing I'm going to do is pay off some debt. I'm going to start with the small things and then I'm going to knock on Barclays and this Chase account. And of course, contribute back to my house and hopefully I'll have some cash envelopes with that money, prayerfully. Okay, next up we have car note. I totally forgot my car note. This is number two. It's due. Y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do because they basically try to take it out tonight. I have no money for that. So it'll probably come out in a day or two. And then T-Mobile, they were to come out on Monday for two forty-seven. I just didn't have it. So phone may be getting cut off, but I'll work something out. I always do, but that's not getting paid, so I can really kind of take it off, but it was due this week, so I might take it off. Um, and then on the 23rd, we have booth rents. I just like to write it down so that I'll know, and you know, like here, um, I hope I'm not all over the place, but here, I put in notes that T-Mobile didn't get paid or it didn't come out, and I need money for my car note and my booth rent. So those would be the same notes here. And the total was 800, 250. The total was $890. I'm gonna subtract the T-Mobile from that. Just put a mark through that because unless, unless a miracle happens, I'm not paying it. Let's put 890, 71, subtract 247. And that leaves 643.71. So that's our total, 643.71. And I'll fill in these note sections by myself. So if I make $718, that leaves me with $74.29. So I won't quite be in the negative just by taking that out, knowing that I didn't pay it, knowing that I don't have it, you know, so, yeah. So that is it, and actually for next week should be the $77.15 from Norris Cove. I'll just have to try to remember. Um, some of it may come out this week. It may come out this week. Well, well, we'll go over that next week when we do our budget breakdown and review. So I'm gonna pop these back in. And I appreciate you guys' patience with me. I'm, <sighs> y'all know, I don't know if I, I did mention on here, starting the garden. So I started the garden and, um, you know, you gotta kind of fight with the garden because you gotta fight bugs and all that type of stuff and diseases and whatnot if you wanna keep it, you know, healthy and everything like that. So now I've kind of got the hang of that. Um, I can kind of get back to um, what I love, which is planning and, uh, making these videos, budgeting, of course. Um, I just had a sale and I wanted to do this yesterday so that you guys could take advantage of the sale. If you were not able to take advantage of the sale, let me know because I may extend it. Um, it'll be an automatic discount. Matter of fact, I'm going to extend it for two more days because I go out of town next week. So I'm going to extend the sale for two more days just for those who watch YouTube. Don't follow me on Instagram so you had no clue about um, the sale. So I'll extend it for two more days. So that makes it today and tomorrow. This video will be up today. So just like two more days, maybe three. And you, that way you can take advantage of the sale. Um, so get your budget stickers and things like that. You can also get your budget downloads. All budget, let me state this because it wasn't stated on my site and I had to go back in, but most of the budget inserts, most of the budget inserts are digital. 
pretty much all of them are digital. So go in there, and so they're at like maybe two dollars. So you can go in there and um, get your digital downloads for half. I mean, forty percent off. It's forty percent off. So I'm gonna again extend that for like two more days for you guys who wasn't able or unaware of the um, sale. Also. Join my mailing list because it did go out on a mailing list. So that way that you get it and you'll be able to take advantage of that as well. So if you did order this first go around and you need maybe another two days to kind of look around and want to get some more stuff, go ahead, stock up because I will be getting rid of a lot of inventory. Mostly the budget stuff will stay, but a lot of things I'm trying to get rid of to make room for stuff for next year. And honestly, um, next year, we're going to be heavy on the budget stuff. I'm working on a budget, um, some new budget inserts and things like that. And I just can't wait to show it, share it with you guys. So I got to get rid of some of the crap that we have. But I'm going to stop rambling. And I really do appreciate you guys sticking with me, stopping by, commenting, liking, subscribing, all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.